And Biden has a response to this leaked opinion from the Supreme Court. He says he's not sure whether the draft is genuine or not, but he says if the court does overturn Roe, it will fall on our nation's elected officials at all levels of government to protect a woman's right to choose. At the federal level, we will need more pro-choice senators and a pro-choice majority in the House to adopt legislation that codifies Roe, which I will work to pass and sign into law. Across the country, news that the Supreme Court has already decided to toss out Roe v. Wade set off a firestorm. Last night, people rushed to the Supreme Court to demonstrate. Roe has been in place for nearly 50 years. The 1973 decision legalized abortion nationwide. Now, according to Politico, the court is ready to overturn it. I've been waiting for this day when we could dance on the grave of Roe v. Wade. This is like D-Day for us. The war isn't over, but we've taken Normandy Beach. And no other thing except for abortion, except for women's reproductive system, would you have to give up your body for someone else? Like, you cannot be forced to donate an organ. You cannot be forced to give blood, even if that would save a life. So why is this different? It's because women are involved. That's the only difference. Politico obtained a document labeled first draft of the opinion of the court in a case challenging Mississippi's ban on abortion after 15 weeks. That leaked opinion states that there is no constitutional right to abortion services. Politico reports Justice Alito wrote the majority decision. Justices Thomas Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett voted with him. The three liberal justices were in the minority. It was not clear how Chief Justice Roberts planned to vote. Here's a quote from Justice Alito in the draft opinion as reported by Politico. He writes, Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. It must be overruled. It's time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. I think that this looks like, I will say, a very thorough first draft. 98 pages, there's footnotes, there's an appendix. And, um, you know, the question is, how much, I think, does the language soften and whether or not there's any major change in the outcome, I suspect there will not be. It is not clear if the draft is the court's final word. Opinions can change before a final decision would come out in late June or July of this year. But if the court does overturn Roe, that means individual states will get the power to decide on whether abortion would be legal. Roughly half of them, mostly in the Midwest and the South, would be expected to ban the procedure. But abortion would still be legal in states like California and New York. In the Senate this morning, the Republican leader said whoever leaked the opinion was trying to put pressure on the conservative justices to change their minds. And Democrats promised to hold a vote on abortion as soon as possible. This is as urgent and real as it gets. We will vote to protect a woman's right to choose, and every American is going to see which side every senator stands. Every American is going to see on which side every senator stands. The court should tune out the bad faith noise and feel completely free to do their jobs. They should follow the facts and the law wherever that leads. In Sacramento, Governor Newsom tweeted this, our daughters, sisters, mothers and grandmothers will not be silenced. The world is about to hear their fury. California will not sit back. We are going to fight like hell. Newsom and Democratic leaders in the state legislature say they will ask voters in November to place a permanent protection for abortion into the California Constitution. Lou?